I've just recorded my stocking filler video and I've not moved and now I'm going to record the kids main Christmas presents that I've got them this year. I did do one last year that you can go back and watch and I've done a gift guide I think for, I can't remember if it was for babies or for kids, can't remember but I've done some gift guides if you want to watch them to get some ideas. I'm not going to record another one this year because I never know what to buy people every year, it's the same, same crap every year. Um, so if you want to go back and watch them to give you some ideas you can watch them or if you want to watch my gift haul from last year you can watch that one but this is my one for 2022 and i feel really happy with what i got the kids my budget was 100 pound which i went over a bit but i still think for what i've spent i've got them some really decent stuff and i've actually got them clothes included i think odin had 127 i added it up and renea had 121 along them lines so i feel like with their outfits they're like toy things their presents were actually under the mark the budget and i've got them pajamas for christmas eve so sorry i feel like i've got them quite a lot so yeah stick around we're gonna do odie's first let's have a look what i've got odin odin is 20 months he yeah 20 months so he'll be 21 months on christmas so he's nearly two so this is what i've got my nearly two-year-old christmas I don't know if I've said it in a video before, but Odin is obsessed with tractors. Obsessed. He has seven, not this size, but seven small tractors downstairs. Anywhere we go, if there's a tractor in a charity shop, if there's a tractor in a shop, I end up buying him a flipping tractor. So I've seen this big one for £12 in Asda and I just had to buy it for him. It has got a button with lights, but I'm not going to press it because he is napping and I don't want to wake him because he is the lightest sleeper in the whole wide world. Um, so yeah, this is going to be probably his favourite toy. One of his friends has got one like this, a pink one, and he played with it the whole birthday party um, when we went. So i seen one about the same size and I've got to get him this. He's going to love it. Love it. Then I got him this fun dinosaur. What is it actually called? I'm going to call it a fidget toy as well. <laughs> because like all the things, the craze is like these fidget toys, sensory toys, and they are literally, yeah, they'll say sensory toy. So good. So on here it says, it's good for hand-eye training, logical thinking, hand-eye coordination, that thing, stimulate intelligence. So yeah, 18 months plus. I've seen this on Ellie Polly's Instagram, I think, I can't remember, but it's basically just putting the things into holes but he will literally sit and play with this for ages because he plays with things like bottle lids and like take, loves taking things in and out of things. And I think this was £13 or maybe less, but it seems like a lot, but I know he will love this. And it was like a toy that's actually like a learning toy as well. So I will link that below, but I definitely think that'll be his, one of his favourites. Him some sand, that mould. I think it's a bit meant to be like the kinetic sand, but it was cheaper. It was £1.50 in the entertainer and he will love this it's a dinosaur one so him and Renee can both go on the tough tray that i've got and play with this probably fight probably mix all the colors up but it will be a nice activity <laughs> she says the coco melon wooden puzzle it's a 3d wooden puzzle so it's like good enough for his age he's just started doing like the wooden he's not like renee was really into these sort of things from like age one he's obviously nearly two and only just figured out how to do the wooden puzzles but that's fine. I think it's just boys, they're so active that they don't want to sit and still and do these sort of things. But because he's just got into Coco Melon and he's just got into puzzles, I thought it would be a good idea. I know Renea at age two was doing proper puzzles, but like he will not get like the puzzles where you get like five, six pieces, like the papery ones. He won't understand that. Excuse my awful nails as well. Um, so yeah, I got this one from Aldi. It was 18 months plus and I'm pretty sure it was 2 99 um, when they had their toy event on. So from Audi, I got him this Coco Melon towel. Bit of a random present, but we go swimming a lot and he doesn't, Naya has a towel like this and he doesn't have one. I think this was 5 99 and I just thought it was a cute little thing to put in his present bag. The box has been ripped. My son may have found this when I was organizing the cupboard because obviously I can only get these sort of things out when Renee is at preschool and when he's not napping because otherwise I wake him up so he 
got this one out. I nearly gave it to him, I gave it to him, but I managed to sneak it back. And I need to somehow fit it back in there, which I cannot do. So we might just have to wrap it like this. But this is the JCB Mini Trucks Playset. It comes with like the trucks and the little signs. You get a proper little digger. The trucks, they're like quite big, chunky vehicles as well, like big wheels. So these will be perfect for like in the garden in the summer and like just they'll be quite indestructible i'm hoping with my boshy little boy <laughs> but i think he will absolutely love these i've just he literally has trucks and vehicles that's all he's got because they are his favorite toy in the whole world and it's actually really nice this year like buying him toys and like last year was just baby things and he hasn't had no interest he didn't have anything that he was really interested in but like since he's hit 18 months he's like really grown like a little personality and he's got like things he really likes and it's so cute to actually buy things that he enjoys and he's just a typical little boy and he loves these and this was 14 pound in the tesco club card like their toy sale they had on their toy event i don't know if they're gonna have another one before christmas but if they do obviously just take your club card in and you'll get it a little bit cheaper but i did get a lot of this stuff like when the sales come on and deals and i just grabbed it each week <laughs> got him this wooden train set he is gonna go crazy for this they have these at baby group and he yeah loves a train as well if you didn't know a choo-choo as he calls it this was 12 pound in argos i was gonna get they have they have the two for 20 pound deal on in argos if you want to get some good presents as well um that's just like on all year i think which is really good but they didn't have the other thing i wanted to get with this they had like you know the car mats that roll out they look a bit like a carpet i wanted to get him one of them to go over all his cars but they didn't have one so i just ended up buying this on his own for 12 pound but i still think that's quite a good price for like a little wooden train set and he will love this i just need to find a little tub to keep it all in so we don't lose the pieces this is his main present he is gonna go crazy this is the wooden garage. They had a fire truck one, but I thought I'd just get a normal wooden garage. Got a helicopter on the top. He loves a helicopter. Oh, it's so cute. It's got a little petrol station and they'll probably both play with it to be fair. They play cars together quite a lot. This was 25 pound in Audi with their toy event. Audi wooden toys are literally the best. We got Renea a wooden toy kitchen for her first birthday and she's nearly four and it is still intact. It's perfect. It's got a few marks on it where it's been boshed, but their toys are so good. So I'd highly recommend getting the Audi wooden toys. I've never tried the little ones, but little do them as well. But they're so cheap compared to like, if you go on like the wooden web toy websites and stuff, they can really put the price on them because people will pay it for wooden stuff. Um, but yeah, this is gonna last him years and years until he's done with it, which I am happy about. Um, so yeah, I know it is a good investment. So I took £25 and we're going to set this up like ready to go next to his pile of presents. Odie is obsessed with Tractor Ted. If you've not watched Tractor Ted on YouTube or Amazon Prime, then you've not lived because it's great. Um, <laughs> it's the only thing he will watch. He's never really been into the telly. He's watched like Moana and a few films. But like Renea at this age, like even at one, Renea loves Cocomelon and Telly. He's just started watching a bit of Cocomelon, but Tractor Ted, he'll sit there the whole time like while I need to cook dinner. Tractor Ted saves my life. I've seen this on Facebook Marketplace, another great place to look for presents because people are selling stuff like that their kids haven't ever used. Like this is brand new. This was two pound. I went on the Tractor Ted website and the Tractor Ted website stuff is like literally 20 pound for stuff like this. I would have not paid £20 for a lunchbox. But yeah, here's a little lunchbox. And it's got like a little drink holder there. So he starts preschool in a few months. And he's going to be staying for lunch twice a week. So this is going to be his preschool lunchbox. He has got a Peppa Pig one, which we use for home. So this is going to be his preschool lunchbox. And then I'll try to find him a tractor head bag as well. Then this book, and it is so cool. I seen these in Sainsbury's last year. And I took a picture of them when i seen them to get renee them and i never got them but i went into tiki max and they had them for 3.99 i think they were about four pound in um sainsbury something like that but basically you pull the stuff out and as you're going along in the book a bit like a puzzle you have to place like the things in each page 
and I was going to give it to Renea but then I thought she's got loads of stuff and like books and that but I think it'll be quite nice for Odin and she can play with it anyway um but yeah I just think he will love that Renee will probably love it more but they've got a fix it one and a doctor one so I'm gonna have a look for their birthdays and see if I can find them but I just think it's a really good like learning game and like quite fun as well of Odin's new favorites that he's discovered is Thomas the Tank Engine Thomas and Tractor Ted save my life Simon Sam's a li he's pretty good but Thomas and Tractor Ted are like a firm favorite in our house it feels so weird having like a little boy because like Renee's always Renee's always loved like dinosaurs and bits like that and stuff like that but like it's weird having a little boy who loves like proper little boy things like tractors and it's really cute um but yeah this is a magnetic book magnetic books are so good i got renea a magnetic digger book actually when she was about one from home bargain so she loved it but i got this one off amazon it was 6.99 which is quite a lot but it will obviously last quite a long time and it's more like a game than a book will love that just sticking them on and off it'd be something to take out to like a restaurant or something to keep him distracted if we go on any holidays tom the tractor book that was 59p from home bargains he'll love that and they're like the hard ones so you can't rip them because he has a bit of a passion for ripping books at the moment Rene never done that freddy the fire engine and then i got him this colouring book he's slowly starting to learn not to eat the pens and to actually colour with them but this has got like tractors fire engines helicopters police cars 89p he's gonna love it and it got stickers in it as well so they're the last little bit so that all of Odin's was 127 pound oh I'm not showing you his clothes I'll show you his clothes but I feel like I got really good stuff for like the price like because there's not a lot you can get for 100 pound these days there really isn't because that's how much my weekly food shop cost. Um, so yeah, I feel really happy with what I got him. I will leave everything linked below if I can. But let's show you. Hang on a sec. Oh, for God's sake. I really need a wee, but I don't want to open the door because I just know I'll be holding up because he's the lightest sleeper in the world. I'm surprised he's not heard me in here. Um, but yeah, keeping it real. This is Odin's Christmas pyjamas. My sister laughed at me when I bought these because they are really babyish and he really isn't a baby. I don't even know if they're gonna fit him to be honest, but I'm gonna grab him some fluffy PJs when we go to Bristol. Me and Shane are going on an adult Bristol shopping trip soon. So I'm gonna buy him some extra pyjamas just in case because he his pyjama drawer's getting short anyway. Um, but these were a fiver. I just had to get them because he is my little pudding, honest. It's like probably the last time I wear a baby bro because he's nearly two and it's just the cutest thing I've ever seen. So that is meant to be his Christmas PJs and I hope he fits them. Maybe we'll do a trial run and see if they fit. My sister did laugh at me though. She was like, you can get them. I was like, I am, watch me. I'll be dressing him in baby grows till he leaves home. Then I got him this super cute outfit from m and I never go into m and but this was eight pounds for the bottoms got a little pocket on the back they're really thick like the quality of these are literally insane and they were three for two so i got a free pair of leggings for naya but i'm definitely going back in there to get them like outfits for their birthdays and stuff and when they crack clothes because i did not know they'd done three for two super cute this is going to be his little boxing day outfit he's going to wear this on boxing day because i feel like boxing day is like your cozy day when you're playing with all your toys and you've had an amazing christmas and you're going to carry on eating loads of food so that's his cozy outfit because that's what i wear anyway a cozy outfit then i got him this super cute shirt this is for christmas day like matches mine i might have to find something similar this was seven pound from asda and i'm just going to put like some little black leggings on here with him or his jeans and I got it in a two to three, so it fits like for the next few months after and probably next year as well. Or you can wear it open with like a white t-shirt underneath it, but I thought it was really cute. That's his little Christmas day outfit. I've already got like black leggings and jeans. I wasn't buying any more just to have a new pair for Christmas. And then I got him some little vests to go in his stocking or whatever. I could actually put them in his stocking to make him look like he's got some texture because they are quite small. I just can fold them up. Um, they that was two pound fifty for them, and they're proper vests, like proper big boy vests. He does still wear a lot of like the proper baby ones, but like I've seen them, and I thought, oh, I'm gonna be buying them big boy pants soon. 
Oh, it's very sad when it's your last child. But yeah, that is everything I've got OD. Let's show you what we've got in there. How cool is this? It literally looks brand new. In the top, you get like all the ice creams. Sorry, my throat is so sore. Odin has been really poorly. Um, and I have his sore throat. So you've got all the bits in here, like all the accessories. Guess how much I paid for this? Ten pound. Ten flipping pound. It was off Facebook Marketplace. And it literally looks, I'm just moving over here. <laughs> So yeah, that was £10. I've had to just shove it over there because it's in my way. Off Facebook Marketplace, I was scrolling and I didn't even know what I wanted to get her this year. But she loves toy like food role play, stuff like that. And I just know she will love it. She is obsessed with ice cream. She always tells me she wants to be an ice cream man. Um, so this will be right up her street and I can put it against the wall like where her um, toy cooker is. So there's like room for both and she will just love it. Her and Odie will have a whale of a time playing that. So that's her main little present and then Odie's is his main garage. So yeah, because hers was only a tenner, that left more room to get like stuff in her present budget. Whereas Odin's looks a lot smaller. Her this hair studio, she kept asking me for the Play-Doh hair set and play is quite expensive isn't it and for the fact that she mixes all of the pieces together makes me die at the thought of spending like 30 pound on a pack of play-doh so i got her this one for 6.99 from home bargains and she will love it doing some crazy hairstyles so one of the things ticked off of her list me it's the lego now i'm not being funny but she's three odin is probably going to try eat it and it's probably going to get thrown across the house so i also wasn't spending like a lot of money on lego so i went into home bargains and i seen this for 11.99 a thousand pieces and then if she really is into it for like her birthday i can get her the lego friends like the little sets like the like cheap 10 pound sets like to make little bigger thing you know what i mean um and then i got the board which was 1.99 so she can make like houses and stuff on the board and all that jazz but yeah 11.99 so if your child is a bit of a lego fanatic or they want lego and you don't want to spend that much on lego or you can't afford to then definitely look in home bargain lol obviously as you know is her new favorite i have actually got to try and get her an lol doll ball she got two this week one from me for being really good and then she conned her dad out of another one this weekend because her dad is a loser and cannot say no to anything that she asks him She's got him right where she wants him and she got another ball. So she had £20 on LOL balls, but they are £7.99 on Amazon. So I'm going to order her one. Just, she doesn't need it, but she said to me, I really, really want Santa to get me an LOL ball. And I feel like if it's not on the list, she may cry on Christmas Day and I ain't got time for that. <laughs> Sounds spoiled, but I'm going to order her one to go in her bag. Maybe I could take away a gift for Christmas, but I probably won't. That was £2 in Matalan, and she will love that. It's 48 pieces. The puzzles we do at the minute are about 48 pieces, so that is ideal. She will love doing that one. Slime. Don't know why I do it to myself. I really don't. But last year, I bought her the Crackle Slime stuff, and she was obsessed with it, and she played with it for months until it went so minging, I had to bin it. So I've got her a set of... And she's gonna feel like she is a big girl, like a cool girl like her cousins, because her cousins play with slime all the time. And she always asks me for it, but I just can't bring myself to buy it. But this was £7.50, so I got it for her in the Tesco sale, which I think is quite good, because you pay like two, three pound a tub. So she's gonna have a whirl of a time doing that. Supervised, <laughs> 100%, with Odin not present. Barbies this year and like the Barbie truck. I know we haven't got the Barbie truck, but I think Kanan has bought her the Barbie car. I pray she has, or someone's bought her something vehicle wise. I am gonna look on Facebook Marketplace for her birthday because she wants a bike. And I'm gonna try find like the caravan or something secondhand because they are like 60 to 100 pound. I'm not spending that because that's her budget. She's not having one toy. So I got her a Barbie, a real Barbie. How cute bit of nostalgia to my childhood that was 14 pound with the club car points or 11 pound i can't remember but she will love it and then i went into home bargains and 
seen that they do their own Barbies. I wish I knew before I spent £11 on the real Barbie, but I feel like if she sees the Barbie sign, it might... You know what kids are like. But these are called Glitz Girls. I think Tesco do them as well, but they literally look the flipping same as a Barbie. Um, this is the fashion doll and pet one. This comes with a pet and a food bowl, I think. Oh, she's got a bit of a nip slip there. <laughs> Um, that one was $3.99 I think and then I got her this one which was $4.99 this is like the vanity set she'll love this because she has a dressing table but she's now got three Barbies to play with in case she gets anything Barbie-ish from anyone else and for her birthday if she's really into the Barbies she can obviously ask people for Barbies and LOL dolls a random present but she always asks me for a tray like nannies whenever we go to her nannies because they don't have a table there because like obviously there's no kids there um they have like the lap trays and she is obsessed with them this was 3.99 from home bargains i probably should have got odin one but i don't quite trust him to eat in the lounge anyway to be honest but if like if anyone's ever poorly like we just stay in the lounge and eat because i had a rule of no one eats in the lounge and ruins the carpet and the sofa but lasted all of five minutes um so yeah if anyone's poorly or if we just have a chill or maybe it's just a lazy day we have our breakfast she has our breakfast in the lounge i'm quite chilled about it to be honest because the carpet's ruined so she's gonna love this prop's gonna start a bad habit of where she thinks she can eat it in the lounge every day but we've done the sand stuff but a unicorn one she'll love that i've got a lot of like sensory like play toys this year i feel like that they're gonna love and she's been asking me for the Hungry Hippos game for ages, but I didn't want to get the big one and like lose all the bits or Odin get the balls because I like marble sizes. It's quite scary. Like, I'm worth worry about. I'm choking. So I got her this one, like the travel size game. This was only six pound for this in the entertainer, and it's like a two player game. So me and her can play it when he naps, or if we're having a bit of one to one time, or if Odie's watching telly or something. We can just do it mummy and Naya or when we go on holiday, Daddy and Naya, and it's very cute. Pig Slide. This was $5.99 in Home Bargains. She's got the swing and obviously she's got the massive pepper house and all the pepper things. So we had to get her the slide because I know she will love it. And that's the last pepper thing I will buy her because she has a lot of pepper stuff. But um yeah, like that's the last pepper item but it's very cute and it's not that expensive they're in books because she loves coloring and i just buy her a few every like christmas birthday to keep in our art and crafts drawer just when we're chilling or i'm cooking she can just get her coloring book out i got her this barbie one this is 75p and she is also obsessed with pirates and fairies so we got her the pirates book that was 75p in the sale and then i got her this pepper velvet art set from powerland which was one pound fifty it's like that velvet paper stuff um but she'll love that great little bargain bits her a really cool book they have like we're going on an egg hunt we're going on a pirate hunt we're going on a something hunt and hop little bunnies like all the brands of these books she's got oh there <laughs> elf chase she doesn't have that one but i think this is a new one she has got all of them nearly bar the elf chase and the hopping bunnies one which I will find for Easter maybe, or I'll try find the elf one. Um, but she, oh, they got stickers in them as well. Cute. She is obsessed with these books and we read, we went for a stage of reading the same one every night. So it's, I don't really buy books anymore because we go to the library a lot. School let them lend out books in preschool. And I just feel like they've got a lot of books now. I only really buy the Julia Donald Donaldson books, the like Gruffalo and stuff, like they're nice ones to keep until they get a lot older. Or like these ones, the ones that she really enjoys. Um, so yeah, that is her book and she's gonna love it. I don't know whether to put it in her Christmas Eve box or just wrap it up. If I find like the elf one, maybe I'll put that in her Christmas Eve box. But that's her book. This is Renea's Christmas Day outfit. This was £14 from Asda and it is super cute love it she wore a dress last year like a knitted one i got from asda which was the billy fairs range but there was nothing that i really liked in her range this year so i just got this one and i thought it was really cute and it matches Odie's shirt so that's what she's going to be wearing not lead this is the free leggings um that i got with the three for two m s deal 
So like technically I didn't pay for her leggings, but they're quite cute. So she's gonna wear them. I don't know if they go, but I'm just gonna wing it. If it doesn't go, she can wear some black leggings, but I had to get this. This is like, I wanted this for myself, but they didn't have it in my size. <laughs> Sad times. This was £7.50 in the sale and it is super cute. I just love the colour and it just looks really like cool, like really chic, grown up. Not that I wanted to look grown up, but I got this in age four because she is nearly four and I just think that's so cute. I'm hoping they do go together. I did ask my sister, but she never snapshot me back if they go together. So that was quite rude. I feel like this purple's a bit darker, so it might go. If it doesn't, I'll just put some plain leggings with it. But loved that. Final item. Renee's other obsession other than LOL dolls now and Barbies, but this has been like a long going obsession for about a year now, is Sonic the Hedgehog. She's got all the teddies, she wants a Sonic bedroom, I don't ask, but I finally found some Sonic pyjamas in her size. It's really hard to find like the younger age stuff in this sort of things. They usually have like in seven to eight, but nothing in younger. They're fluffy, she loves fluffy pyjamas. They come with bed socks. She loves bed socks. She's going to go crazy. These were £12 and she is going to love them. Like, love them. Um, so these will go in her Christmas Eve box along with Odie's. So they won't be in her main presence. So she can wear these on Christmas night, Eve night. And she's probably never going to take them off. I doubt she'll put the dress on on Christmas Day because she'll love them that much. She is a pyjama queen, that girl. So yeah, that is everything I got. I think it was... Both kids was about 125-ish, seven-ish pounds. And then with their stockings. So I spent no more than 150 pound on everything. Um, so I feel like my budget's always been 100, but this year I had to go up a little bit more because of how expensive things are. Like clothes are even expensive now. 12 pounds in pajamas. Um, but yeah, I feel like I've done really well for like how expensive things are and within my budget. So try Home Bargains, Tesco, like the supermarkets, Aldi, Facebook Marketplace, it's Vinted. All my favourite places I've been buying things from this year. I will link as much as I can below. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this long haul. Oh, I'm ready to stop talking now and go for a wee and hope that I don't wake up so I can get an extra 10 minutes chill time. But yeah hope you enjoyed guys and I will see you soon for another Christmassy video.